Hello students, welcome to Sort of Sir's classes. Today the problem that we want to solve says let t equal to 1 0 0 1 1 0 1 1 1 be the matrix of linear transformation defined by tx equal to tx with respect to the basis 1 0 0 1 1 1 1 0 and 1 1 1 over r. So we are given this matrix t then the matrix of the linear transformation t from r cube to r cube defined by the basis this so right now this is with respect to the basis 1 0 0 0 1 0 0 0 1 which is e1 e2 e3 this let us call v1 v2 v3 and let us try to see what it means now v1 equal to e1 v2 equal to e1 plus e2 v3 equal to e1 plus e2 plus e3 which is just v2 plus v3 therefore v1 equal to e1 this is just e2 equal to v2 minus v1 and e3 equal to v3 minus v2 now what is t v1 t v1 is equal to t e1 which is equal to v3 this is because t of e1 is just the first row of the matrix I beg your pardon the first column of the matrix which is just v3 now t of v2 is equal to t of e1 plus t of e2 which is equal to what is t of e1 t of e1 is v3 and t of e2 is t of e2 is the second row which is 0 1 1 which is just 1 1 1 minus 1 0 0 so this is just v3 plus v3 minus v1 and t of v3 is 0 0 1 which is v3 minus v1 sorry v3 minus v2 here I made a mistake this would just be t of v2 t of v2 is just so t of v2 is t of e1 plus t of e2 because v2 is e1 plus e2 t of e1 we know is 1 comma 1 comma 1 which is equal to v3 and t of e2 is 0 1 1 which is 1 1 1 minus 1 0 0 which is v3 minus v1 sorry for the mess up now t of v3 is equal to t of e1 plus t of e2 plus t of e3 which is equal to t of e1 is just v3 t of e2 is v3 minus v1 and t of e2 t of e3 is 0 0 1 which is v3 minus v2 so this becomes 2v3 minus v1 and this becomes 3v3 minus v1 minus v2 so the matrix we have this t of v1 this t of v2 t of v3 in terms of v1 v2 and v3 with respect to this matrix t of v1 is v3 t of v2 is 
minus 1 0 2 v 3 t of v 3 is minus 1 minus 1 3 so we know a is the correct answer this was a relatively easy problem and now we move on to the next problem which says the series sum over n from 1 to infinity log 1 plus 1 by n by n to the power alpha converges when does it converge if it's greater than if alpha is greater than 0 if it's equal to 0 if it's less than 0 or does it diverge for all alpha belongs to r so now for this let us just use the formula the Taylor series log 1 plus x equal to x minus x squared by 2 plus x cubed by 3 minus x to the 4 by 4 and so on now log of 1 plus 1 by n is equal to 1 by n minus 1 by 2 n square plus 1 by 3 n cube minus 1 by 4 n to the 4 and so on so now sum over log of 1 plus 1 by n by n to the power alpha is equal to <coughs> sum over sum over this is n from 1 to infinity we have i from 1 to infinity minus 1 to the power i plus 1 1 by n to the power i times i so this would be equal to if we just change the orders this is just equal to so we just collect the odd terms in one place so we will have a term so here we also have a n to the power alpha thing here we will have 1 by 2 to the power alpha plus 1 plus 1 by 3 to the power alpha plus 1 plus 1 by 4 to the power alpha plus 1 and this series continues and we will have this 1 by i and minus 1 to the power i plus 1 always i going from 1 to infinity and so now everything depends on this series and we know this series converges if alpha plus 1 is less than if alpha plus 1 is great exactly greater than 1 therefore alpha is to be greater than 0 if it converges so the series converges if alpha is greater than 0 and a is the correct answer we will move on to our next problem four persons p q r and s take turns in sequence p q r s p q r s in rolling a fair die the first person to get a six wins then the probability that s wins is what are the options so probability that s wins is equal to probability that s wins in first round 
plus probability that S wins in second round plus probability X wins in third round and so on each of these are disjoint events and so they the, inter, the union of their probabilities is just the sum of it now what is probability that s wins in the first round the probability that s wins in the first round is p probability that p gets no six times probability that q gets no six probability that r gets no six times probability that s gets a six plus for the second round and so on so for the first round probability p not getting a six is five by six times 5 by 6 times 5 by 6 times s gets a 6 1 by 6 now in the second round we have 5 by 6 times 5 by 6 times 5 by 6 times 5 by 6 because all four get lose in the first round in the second round it is this same thing we call this a for convenience times a plus we get 5 by 6 to the power here we had 4 so now we will get 8 a plus 5 by 6 to the power 12 a and so on so we get if we take a common we get 1 plus 5 by 6 to the power 4 plus 5 by 6 to the power 4 square plus 5 by 6 to the power 4 cube and so on which is just a times 1 by 1 minus 5 by 6 to the power 4 which is equal to 6 to the power 4 6 to the power 4 minus 5 to the power 4 into a which is 5 cube 6 to the power 4 this gets cancelled out and we get 125 by 671 which is exactly equal to option a and option a is hence our correct answer for any queries or doubts in the questions, please post in our comment section. If you like the video, please press the like button and subscribe to our channel for more such interesting videos. Thank you.